Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have another Your Creative Studio box that I'm going to be opening for you up on camera. So firstly we have the little thank you card with the information of all the items that are inside. As you can see, your Creative Studio logo at the bottom here. So I've actually had a little sneak peek inside this box today and it looks like it's going to be like an owl theme, I think. There's a lot of woodland characters, so this could be perfect for maybe a winter wonderland spread um, or even a snail mail package or something like that. So let's jump right into the video. I can see they've changed their packaging. So we've got a little stamp here and it looks like it's going to be an owl. Oops, there's multiple ones. So it definitely looks like a winter wonderland because little snowflakes. I don't think I have any snowflake stamps. And yes, it's a cute little owl. <laughs> I'm going to do a journal spread at the end of this video. So I'll pop all these stamps in and see how well they stamp. So this one says washi tape number two. So there might be another washi tape in here. Oh wow, how beautiful. There's like, you can't really tell on cameras, but there's this beautiful like greeny blue colours with an owl um, flying through the air. And I think there's snowflakes behind. So it's a very, yeah, winter, <laughs> winter package we have today. So next we have this little owl bookmark, I'm guessing it is, with this beautiful blue in its belly and a little snowflake charm on it. So I'll open this one up. Absolutely gorgeous. Although I probably wouldn't use this, I don't think. Maybe I could find somewhere to just hang it up. So next we've got another stamp and this is number three. So maybe we've got three stamps today. So it's this owl head with a little beanie and then again, two more little snowflakes. Which we've already had snowflakes. I guess they're all different types and sizes as well. I'm not really a big owl fan though. So I don't know if I'd use these that much, but I guess if I'm doing a lot of woodland themed like snail mail or journaling, these would be perfect. Or even a little Harry Potter spread. Like this one here would be perfect for a Harry Potter spread. So we've got another two, I'm guessing there's stamps inside, so let's open them up. So they're big wooden stamps, and then we've got beautiful deer, and then a carousel, which this one's quite random. <laughs> I don't know how that matches the theme. Um, but we'll see how well these stamps later as well. There are so many stamps in this pack today. Um, so this one says number two and it looks like a mountain range. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Wow, I've never had a stamp like this one before. It looks really cool. I can't wait to use it. And then again, we've got two more little snowflakes. We've had so many snowflakes. I don't know how I'm going to use all these because I... It's not, it doesn't really snow here in Australia, so I don't usually use a lot of spreads, but I guess if I do design anything that needs a lot of snowflakes, I do have a lot now. <laughs> so each little pack had two snowflakes in them. Alrighty, so next we have the die cut stickers, and again, they're very wintry and woodland. Oh, these are gorgeous! <gasps> I love this little fox here. Oh, these would be perfect. Even for Christmas, I could use these for as well. Oh, I can't wait to use these ones. They're so lovely because they look like they're watercolour. I hope they're transparent. So next we have these gorgeous tags and the the colour around the edges is a blue colour. So again, it's matching that winter wonderland theme. And I love these tags. I use these tags all the time, like I say in most of these videos, for mail art. Um, sorry, for, yeah, mail uh, the front of my mail art, I use them for addresses, so these are perfect. We've also got a little book here, and I'm not quite sure what these words actually say. I think it says guest something something, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know, I can't read <laughs> running writing too well. Um, but it's the same the whole way through. So you'd rip these out and they're perfect for like journaling with. Again, you can put them on the front of mail art and write addresses, um, put addresses on. And you'll just put a little bit of washi tape over this writing probably here, unless you like the style. And there's usually paper packs within these boxes as well. So this must be the small one today. And they always look like vintage papers. I don't use a lot of these, so I have mass amounts of these papers now. But they are good on the occasion if I'm making like a little vintage spread. I guess these would work with this spread as well because they're quite cool colours. Um, so you could use them within the Winter Wonderland spread as like backgrounds if you're collaging. But yeah, I have a lot of these papers now. <laughs> I need to think of what I can use them for. Even like a massive collage, I could put them on the back of like a canvas 
and use like mi these for like mixed media papers as well. So it looks like the Your Creative Studio is actually using a lot more of their designs. I don't know if they've always used their designs, but definitely everything's been very branded in this video. I mean in this box, sorry. Oh, there's different patterns. So we've got the owl and also the mountains and the snowflakes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Like always, they've got their sticker sheet, and again, it's ours. And lastly, there's these beautiful papers, and they're just snowflake papers. Let it snow. <laughs> That's what it says. I was going to start singing, but I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm quite tired today. I don't know if you can tell from my voice. Um, but let's get into the journaling part of this video, and I'll show you a spread using all of these. Um, gorgeous stamps, washi tapes. There was actually a one washi tape in this um, pack today. But lots and lots of owls and snowflakes, that's for sure. It's not windy here in Australia, so it feels weird making like a wintry spread. But it's winter somewhere else in the world. I might just hang this one up somewhere. 